as I seem to say every night, this is a hideous market. But few groups are more hated than stocks that came as SPACs. Those are the startups that came public over the past couple of years by merging with special purpose acquisition companies. Just yesterday, we got the first bankruptcy declaration from one of the many SPAC electric vehicle companies, Electric Last Mile Solutions. It won't be the last. That was really hideous, that one. But some of these names are actually legitimate, even if their stocks might be too risky in the current environment. Take Indy Semiconductor, which is working on a suite of chips and software for the auto industry. Think LiDAR, radar, autonomous driving, and advanced driver assistance systems. This stock is going, has come from... $16 last November to six and change today. Because Wall Street, I think, has no patience for fast growing companies that aren't turning a profit. But man, Indy Semi reported better than expected quarter last month, and it's got a triple digit growth rate. While this kind of name is currently out of style in the Wall Street fashion show, it's a real enterprise. So let's find out more about it. So let's take a closer look with, with Donald McClyman. He's the co founder and CEO of Indy Semi, Dr. Lamore. Mr. McClyman, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to see there you. There you go. Have a seat. Yeah. Have a seat. Thanks, sir, for uh, having me. Nice okay. to be here in person this time. It is great. Yeah, yeah. It is great. So you're in the big ones. You're in ADAS, you're in connectivity, and you're in EV. Mm-hmm. Um, we also know that that this is a very exciting space. But other than Tesla's, no, but no one seems to be really making a lot of money in it. How can you make money in disruptive auto megatrends now? Well, um, we are um, fairly uh, spread in the market. As you mentioned, we're in the ADAS space, uh, we're in the uh, user experience space, and we're beginning to enter into the e-vehicle space. So, I mean, we're very much a what's-for-lunch company. We're really focused on uh, products and projects that can bring us money today. And right. we're, not, we're not talking about things that are coming in, in 10 years' time or uh, sort of autonomous driving, which will come to the market who knows when. Right. We're really looking at things that are going to give us uh, revenue within a very foreseeable amount of time. Now, let's talk about these um, the acquisitions, what they've done and what they've meant for you, mm. and uh, particularly analog devices, which are really good companies. So they sold something to you. Is it working out? Yeah. I mean, we, we made three acquisitions, um, two in the radar space. We did two carve-outs, uh, one from On Semiconductor. We acquired their RF Mimic team. Okay. And then one uh, from ADI. We acquired their, acquired their software and systems team, both fantastic teams, probably a little subscale inside their own businesses. But that combined with, with a business that we had been building ourselves internally and a technology we'd been building internally enabled us uh, to put the three together in a tripod fashion, kind of. And we attached to one of the biggest design wins in, in the business as, as a net result of that. Tell me some more about the design win, because I want people to understand I mean, they're try- we're all trying to figure out how the stock went down. So mm-hmm. it, it's just that if there's good stuff, we want to know about it. <laughs> yeah, well, for sure. I mean, um, as I said, we're, we're, uh, we're very much focused on real business. Right. So anything that we talk about publicly, we expect to be really in the, in the kind of fat part of the market where... Uh, they're predictable. They're going into regular vehicles, which you and I can buy today or within a, a few years. Right. So, um, I mean, really, that's 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 the main focus. Well, you mean like the, uh, you mentioned in your uh, Q and A mm. uh, in the conference call that uh, Apple CarPlay mm-hmm. that you're involved with that. How are you involved with Apple CarPlay? Well, Apple CarPlay has has been a long story for us. We started shipping volume production in that in 2015. Um, we just deployed our third generation of that product, which will ship for another 10 years from today. Uh, it's a large piece of business for us. We ship millions of parts every year in that. It's, 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 a, it's a running, solid business in a sort of high-profile area of the, of the user experience market. All right, so let's deal with the numbers. On mm-hmm. Mad Money, we don't recommend stocks that don't. That, uh, the criteria is you have to make, make things, do stuff. Uh, be profitable, return mm. money to shareholders, and be reasonably valued. Mm. So that's why it's so hard for me to get behind Indy, because you are supposed to lose money even in 2023. Is there any way that you can make money next year? Well, we'll cross over that barrier in 2023. Um, I, uh, we won't be profitable for the whole year, but we will be profitable at the end of the year. We're very committed to that. It's the number one focus for me as, as, the, as the CEO of the company. And really, if you look at our, our growth profile, we're growing between 16 to 20 percent quarter. So we're we're marching towards that. And we're absolutely do you, will you have enough uh, money or do you need a fundraise before you get to profitability? I know you have almost a couple hundred in the bank, but it is a tough environment out there. No, we're good. Um, we need about 80 million to get to profitability. So we okay. have a hundred million uh, cushion on that. Um, we have no need for operational reasons to go to the market to look for funding. And that's what we're laser focused on right now. We're building a business which, um, I mean, somehow we have to break out of the SPAC mold and yeah. show what we can do. And I think we're doing it, but we're getting overlooked a little well, bit. By I mean, I was confused that like you say it would take two years to do IPOs. I, I worked in the IPO process. I've done IPOs. Mm-hmm. I was in syndic- I'm involved with syndicate. Mm-hmm. And it, it never takes two years. So I'm just trying to figure out 
It would have just been so better to just do an IPO. No, by the way, just so you know, no one who's done a SPAC has ever said that they wish they'd done an IPO. So you can be in that company, or you can say, yeah, I wish I'd done it, and then we can go further. Well, um, there's, there's a, a great deal of irony in there. Um, if, yeah. If we, if we had crossed the, the, the rule of thumb in a semiconductor company is you get to $100 million run rate, then you can go. So that's what we will be in, in this quarter. We guided to around that run rate. Um, so we'd be we'd be filing now, and okay. in this market, we'd be stuck on the on the landing strip waiting to take off. So, well, yeah. yes and no. But I, no, so where? How far away from we are, we are on autonomous driving? Um, uh, I mean, aut autonomous driving will will slide slowly into existence. Yeah. It, there's not going to be a big bang point in it. But you do raise some good points at the beginning of your call, talking about the number of fatalities worldwide that would yeah. be prevented. But it just seemed like just from a public relations nightmare, if one person has an accident, it's like it's like a thousand accidents. That's true. Um, they uh, they do get unfairly punished for it. Nobody talks about the thousands of lives that they saved by. Uh, well, how do we change that narrative? I, I think over time, as people get used to it, and and frankly, as there are more autonomous cars and less non-autonomous cars interacting with autonomous cars, over over time, that will that will become uh, well, become that's more very accepted. That's very true. Yeah. Well, you know, you got a number. We got a number of calls uh, from Lightning Round about your company, and you know, mm. look, I, I, as I said, mm. it's just. In many ways, this market is horrendous. Yeah, for sure. And it, it's very punishing, mm. particularly punishing toward, it was started punishing toward companies that are losing money. Now today it was punishing toward like the PepsiCo's of the world. It's sure. just a rolling bear market. We've seen that before. Yeah. But I mean, look, I mean, I think that you've got great names, great logos, got a really interesting product line. You said you're going to make money next year. What more can you ask for? That's my point of view. We set our plan out in the end of 20, and we're executing to it pretty much flawlessly, as we said. And uh, as long as I uh, keep keeping my word, then uh, the investors have nothing to worry about. Very good. Okay, that's Donald McClyman, co-founder and CEO of Indy Semiconductor. You've asked many times in the lightning round. Now you've heard it. $6. Memories back into the break.